Howdy, howdy. Um, today, I'm going to show you a bit of a problem you can get with alpha channels on materials, and of course, how to fix it. So, let me show you the issue. Typically, if you're making trees or foliage or even just people, one thing you'll do is you'll get a completely flat plane and you'll put your image on there with an alpha channel so it cuts it out. So rather than making a, an actual 3D tree or a 3D person, you just use a flat picture of one. So if I nab myself a flat plane and I just spin it around so it's sitting upright, this is going to be a tree. And in my materials, make a new material and what I'll do is I'll disable everything except the luminance into which I shall place a picture of a tree now this one here I've grabbed this from cgtextures.com plenty of awesome stuff in there go check them out um, but here's a tree I've saved it as a PSD file because this is where it shows the problem most of all uh, and just to quickly show you let me bring up Photoshop here this is the image it's just the picture of the tree straight on the sort of transparent checkerboard background. Okay, so nothing special, no extra, tran no extra channels, um, just purely that one layer there. Now, here's where the issue comes in. I've got my tree in the luminance, just so it's nice and bright. And I'm going to put the same file into the alpha channel. So let's come down to the alpha, turn it on. And I'll throw in that same image of a tree. Okay, here's the problem. You might just about be able to see it up in this thumbnail in the corner. But do you see this slight white outline around the outside edge of the tree? When I put this onto my plane here, I will actually get the exact same thing. If I come down here, you can see it there, but let's hit render anyway. This is the problem you're going to get this white halo around the outside edge. Now, it's possible it's been on there, but you've not noticed it, or it's not been enough of a, an issue for you to care that much. But in a lot of cases, it'll be there. Um, what you're going to have to do, or rather more to the point, the reason you have this problem is that back in Photoshop, when Cinema runs out of layers to stick together, i.e. this is the last layer, there is nothing on this checkerboard, Cinema defaults to white. So as far as cinema's concerned, it's using the color information of pure white for these filled in uh, checkerboard areas. And because of the alpha channel, that means it picks up this little white fringe around the outside edge. That's what's causing our problem. So what we're gonna do is go into our luminance channel or where, wherever you've placed the color information. So color or luminance is where it's probably going to be. Um, here you can see my file in the center. Let's just move this over. Here you can see my file. Now, if you click on a file name, you get this window pop up. It's, it lets you change some very basic fundamental settings about the image. But one of the things you do have is this option here called layer set. This allows me, rather than using the fully composited together image from Photoshop, it actually allows me to choose which layers I want to use. So long story short, if I hit the button next to it, and I can see I only actually have one layer in there, if you ever choose any layers, it does something, well, it's, it's a bit hard to describe, but basically you will lose this issue. Choose the file, sorry, choose the layer within the file, Hit OK. Um, and that's it. That's it. It's it's solved. It's fixed. If I hit render now, no more halo. It's perfect. Um, basically, with a transparent Photoshop file, you simply need to select the layers which make up and create the mask, if you like. Because if you just tell Cinema to use everything in the file, it does sort of internally automatically composite it against white, which is what's causing our problem. So yeah, any trees, any people, anything else you're using as flat cardboard cutouts, nip into the layer set and just select all the layers which make up the image, which, which truth, truth be told is probably only actually one layer, so not much clicking to even do there. Okay, hopefully that will uh, help save you a few headaches with your halos around the outside edges of your objects. Uh, yeah, all fixed, all lovely. Okay.